The process of checking in and out with AutoCAD is very similar to the Vault client. Once you check out a file in AutoCAD from Vault, the file is locked for editing, but is still available for visualization and read-only download. Let's go into our exercise files and open up the Parcels DWG in AutoCAD. Once the DWG opens, let's click on the Vault ribbon and log in. We're going to log into Vault. Again, the username here, I'm just using the default administrator. The server is that IP. Pick the Vault. The only one on this server is my Vault, so we'll use that. And we'll click OK. Let's check in this file as is. We'll go into my project and put it in the source directory. Click OK and click OK. And that will upload the file from the desktop up into the vault. Creates the visualization file, or DWF in this case, automatically and uploads that as well. So when you check in a DWG, it uploads both the DWG and its associated DWF. Now we are working on the vaulted copy, meaning we're using the DWG from vault, no longer the one from the desktop. And we look at the vault, we're working on this. So if we want to check this out again, we, what we can do is we can say check out. We'll save it. So let's edit this file now that it's checked out. What we're going to do is we're going to take this large island in the middle of your screen. We'll zoom in a little bit. And we're going to change the hatch color of this large section of this island. This is called Newcastle Island, as a matter of fact, in the city of Nanaimo. We're going to right click and go properties after we select it. We're going to change it to a blue color. So under color, we're going to change it to blue. And we're going to change the transparency to zero. So it's a solid blue color. Now it's very obvious. And then we'll pick on the vault. And we're going to check it back in. And click OK. It'll upload it. Yes, we'll save and continue. Once we've checked in the file, let's open up the vault client directly. Go to the source where we uploaded the parcels. And if we pick on the parcels drawing, now that it's been checked in, you can see that we have two versions of the same file. We have version one without the blue Newcastle Island. And if we flip back to version two, you can see that it most certainly is now bright blue. Using Vault to check in and check out DWG files ensures that users don't overwrite files that are being used by others. This process, will ensure that most recent version of the DWG is always available for everyone.